record the show whenever. I will upload them on Saturday to the YouTube channel. So if we record your show on Sunday, you won't be uploaded until the next Saturday. But I'm hoping to record two or three shows so that I'm up a couple shows. And that way I just post one weekly. Um, but it's fun. It's laid back. We're going to have a good time. Like I said, I will come to your house. You can decide what you want to cook. And we will just have a blast doing it. Um, Another joke for you. Why do you never see an elephant hiding in a tree? Because they're really good at it. <laughs> I really hate that this camera just cut off like that because I was just talking so good. I had so much good material and now it's just gone. I don't know. That's just the way that it happens sometimes. But anyway, we're fixing to be done with our green beans. I'm going to show you my green beans after they come out of the Instapot because they are just rich green, flavorful, smell good. This Instapot cooking green beans is amazing. If you've never done green beans in the Instapot, do it. Do it. Do it. You will never regret it. Even canned green beans. If I don't have my homemade canned green beans, I will use two cans of the Allen green beans, you know, the big flat ones, and I'll put them in spots and do it the same way. A little bit of everything bagel seasoning, uh, some onion, some bacon bits, turn that thing on, let it do its thing, and they are amazing. 15 minutes, you got a whole pot. So. And wait till you see these pork chops. Now, I know when you saw me smearing this, Honey mustard on them pork chops. She thought, ooh, I don't want that. Well, they are amazing. My baby boy loves them. When he was little, he would ask for them every holiday. Kids when I had my kids were little, they pretty much whatever I cooked, they ate. Now my grandson, on the other way, on the other hand, he's a picky eater. He doesn't like a lot of things. My little granddaughter will eat whatever you put in front of her. My Brittany, if he doesn't want to eat it, he's allergic to it. <laughs> You're not allergic to it, Brittany Taylor. Eat it. I'm allergic to it, Mama. Yeah, he thinks he's sweet, but he's not. He, he, he ends up eating it. So, my husband made me mad today. I've been asking him for a week. See my door off my cabinet over here? See it hanging against the thing? The door's been off for a week. Broke the hinge by the end of there. I have cabinets on the other side. They're just like this. With this panel. Two panels had to be replaced because I got new countertops. I want to clean them. They've been in the floor for two months. I've asked him to mount the dishwasher because my new countertops come and they didn't mount it back. I can mount the dishwasher. He didn't do it. So today he came south to go drive dump truck. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it myself. Cause he bought hinges for my door. 
wrong hinge. It won't work. I got my panels in my door. Got them in there. They look good. Could not figure out how to, <laughs> to mount the dishwasher. There was no way that I was going to be able to do that because I could not get the dishwasher out to do it. So I had to wait on him after all. live y'all can ask me questions but it ain't live so I'm gonna eat my cucumber while I'm waiting we got two minutes and 56 seconds and our pork chops will be done, and you'll get to see all that goodness. And my green beans. Let me go ahead and move my green beans over. My family eats well. I cook like this every night, by the way. No, I take that back. When I'm working in Nashville, I don't cook like this. But uh, when I'm home, I usually cook dinner like this every night. I'm eating some. I'm eating two vegetables. I'm eating a vegetable. Sometimes it's just a baked potato. But one minute, 29 seconds. these pork chops don't they look amazing I wish you could smell them but you cannot smell them but they are so delicious all right that pretty much wraps up our first cooking show my husband's at mowing the yard so we're not going to eat till he comes in but that's it I want you all to have a great day if you're interested in being in my cooking show Call me, text me, send me a message, however you want to do it, and we'll get you booked up. Uh, Y'all have a great night, and see you next time on Cooking with a Dash of Pepper.